This just in, breaking news. Hot off the presses. Amaranth passes Pokimane as the top female streamer. Pokimane tends to be the top of the most watched female Twitch streamer list, but March of 2021 saw fellow streamer Amaranth win the top spot. That's it. Nobody does this to my Pokimane but me. Nobody screws with my future ex-wife. What's that, Stu? Pokimane's on the line. She's on the line for a Zoom call. I'm cool with that. What, what does Pokey got to say? Your dick is so little, and you're an adult, like... Why is what? it so small? What? Stu, that's not Pokimane. She would never speak to me and say that my dick was little number one because she wouldn't speak to me at all. Stu, how do you not understand someone's trolling? God damn it, Stu. I'd fire you if you didn't work for free. The hot tub streams, not to be confused with the hot tub time machine. Though almost equally as bad. What's going on in here? Dude is rocking cassette player. Leg warmers. I'm sure there's a good explanation for all this. Jerry girl! Excuse me, miss. What color is Michael Jackson? Black. This is the new Twitch meta. The hot tub streams like many ideas were lifted from cam girls and adult entertainers, such as Chatterbait. Before OnlyFans became the social norm, thoughts would rip off cam girls and then look down upon them. It was amazing, really, that thoughts would be able to use their sexuality for easy money and capitalizing on the e-girl market, while also keeping a level of credibility and protection that cam girls also didn't receive. You know, women in the real adult entertainment industry. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby, yeah. <laughs> Oh, she's got more moves than Metamucil. <laughs> yeah, but dab it do me, Indy Fox. <laughs> I bow to you. <laughs> you are the queen. To hell with Amaranth. You're the best. You're... Oh, shit. I broke my fab stick again. Fuck, these things are $5 a piece. <laughs> Damn it. Gundam's gonna be so mad he can't use this one to paint little robots. What a queer. This enabled Twitch Dots to not only make money off of their sexuality and use cam girl tactics that you'd see on Chatterbait, but it also gave them the freedom to get sponsorships from like G Fuel or certain VPNs and believe it or not, raid Shadow Legends. So please, just download Raid. Just spend 20 minutes of your time getting to level 10 and then I'll even give you a sub. <laughs> now thoughts are using OnlyFans, doing the exact same things as the girls they used to look down on literally like two or three years ago, making many of them hypocrites. But we won't go into that because calling out a woman on anything she does that's, you know, bad or assholish, that's misogyny now? Um, common sense and honest opinions on situations as society crumbles into the ground and burns is now misogyny. Holla at your boy sponsored by Raycon yet again and they like to support the channel. Raycons come in in a multitude of beautiful colors, fantastic fit, great sound, noise isolation, and long battery life. In fact, six hours to be exact. Raycon also offers a 45 day free return policy. Me personally, I use them while I'm airbrushing or while I'm working out, trying to get rid of my bird arms, baby. And sometimes when I'm in the snow, I like to put on my Raycons really loud so I can't hear the snow blower as I stand out in the freezing cold for two hours. Anyway, that has nothing to do with that, baby kinks. I forgot to mention this has seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and even more compact design and a comfortable fit. Click the link or go to buyraycon.com slash it's a Gundam to get 15% off of your order. And remember, in doing so, you help support my channel and keep me alive, baby. The thought came around, this is, honestly, the thought has been here since the dawn of time, ruining hobbies and then later on ruining facets of the internet. If you will, 
may we take a trip elsewhere into costuming. Before the thought got into costuming, it was really a niche group of people really enthusiastic about comic books and movies, striving to create the most authentic movie replicas or costume replicas of their favorite characters. Then thoughts came into the mix, such as Jessica Noir, whatever the hell her name is. She literally became an internet sensation from wearing Pikachu ears, a bra from Target, and a short skirt, and thus launched the thought cosplay genre. The thought cosplay genre is a group of women who are obviously taking characters and sexualizing them to make money. What about exploiting women? Well, you know, when a man does it, it's exploitation. When a woman does it, it's good business. After Twitch no longer forced women to pretend to enjoy video games. Yes, dude, it was so annoying that you had to pretend to like video games, right? You had to go on Twitch and you were wearing like your cleavage and you were waiting for the donations, but you had to pretend you care about video games. Now, thanks to IRL, I can just sit here without even playing. <laughs> That's amazing. Just bless you, Twitch. We then got just chatting and podcast. This then created the Twitch dot. Anywhere where a woman can infiltrate a hobby, predominantly male, and use her sexuality to get popular or make money, it can and will happen. This isn't about controlling women's bodies, by the way. That's a, a narrative some women push to try and make themselves seem holier than thou or anyone that questions their tactics to seem misogynistic. This is time and place for everything. I'm sorry, but would you literally dress this way to go to, I don't know, your boyfriend's house for dinner to meet his parents? I don't think so. I don't think you'd show up to your boyfriend's house riding a balloon donkey <laughs> in a, a little kiddie pool and going, hello, Mrs. and Mr. McGinty. I'm your son's girlfriend. We're going to get married. Would you like to give me 200 biddies? <laughs> The hot tub streams, I don't know myself when they became big. In all honesty, it's a, it's a mystery. I can't put my finger on exactly who did it, but I can say that it's been a long time coming. As far back as two years ago, you had Pink Sparkles doing pool streams before their whole streamer house kind of fell apart because of cattiness, bitterness, jealousy, and the usual shit that happens in those streamer houses. Hands on keyboard chat, okay? I'm not a object. I object to this objectification. Ooh. We now have the current hot tub meta. And it's all things that involve thoughtism. It's the beautiful fact that these women will turn on each other in an instant. You know there's a problem on the site when other women begin to speak up because usually women on Twitch try to stay real tight knit together and it's always like, sisterhood, get that bag, girls. Get the bag is used more often than not to excuse just felonious behavior. <laughs> I swear to Christ. Stream, and if there's not more than 20 subscribes today, I will not be doing this stream ever again. So, I'm just saying, subscribe, follow, and you'll be seeing a lot more of my pool streams. I might even like bring Tapatha one day. Hey guys, <clears throat> invite your uh, co-workers or your family or your friends to see my stream. And once it's over 4,000, my friend Yu's gonna wear a swimming suit. Maybe who knows it's bikini. Yu Jung, imagine she wears bikini or something like that and in the water with me. You want that? Then invite your co-workers, family, uh, whatever, friends. Yes, go. We need 300 more people, and that's it. Let's go, go. It's like, oh, it's a woman making a lot of money. Who cares how she does it? Get the bag, secure the bag. But now secure the bag isn't enough. When other female streamers like Nessers writes, I went on Twitch and seriously got confused as to what app I was actually on. What in the actual fuck happened to Twitch? I really want to know. Well, my dear, it's uh, the it's the age of the e-girl. You see, this is what happens when e-girls go unchecked. 
In order to one-up each other, they have to do more and more. Don't get me wrong. I don't really care. And I find it amusing. Because then you get stuff like uh, misbehaving. Where she pretended. Oh, I didn't know I was still on stream. And she starts dancing around in her lingerie. Oh, we have lingerie streams too now. And she just literally pulls her vagina open on the fucking site and gets a three-day ban. This is where we are now. And it's where we'll stay until things get real screwed up. And it's coming. I can't wait for the fallout. My dick is rock solid. I'm a full two inches for the next fallout. Oh my. Just because some female streamers do things really sets other streamers, female streamers up for bullshit. And it fucking pisses me off. Like, I'm all about getting that bread. I am. I really am. I'm like, yes, queen, do the hot tub stream, but please don't do it on Twitch. Because it makes my life miserable. Because then I have people coming from your chat where they see your hot tits covered in bubbles to my chat asking to see mine. But we don't do that here. It's like so frustrating. You see, that's the thing, my dear. You know, everybody sat back and allowed the thoughts to do this. It's over now. They have the site. Until, you know, Twitch gets sued or some major, major political fallout happens. Like, it has to be a massive media, just atomic bomb to hit Twitch before they'll crack down on this. And frankly, whatever. You see, this is what happens. Sometimes you have to have laws in place. Otherwise, you have the Wild West. Except this is the Wild West of titties. XL Area then puts out her confronting QT Cinderella for her obviously scathing remarks. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be addressing some of the things that QT Cinderella said in her latest Twitch clip. She was saying that the hot tub streamers are causing all these sexist comments on her page and she really thinks it's our fault that we shouldn't be allowed on the platform, yada, yada, yada. But before we Lord, get into she's this, struggling to put together a thought. Mother of... Let it go. I don't know why it's bothering me. It's like, get to the point, sugar. Come on now. Um, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. But before we get into this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. And yeah, let me subscribe and like this video. And maybe just turn the world bell notification. Yeah, let me do that. Yeah, okay. the comments below so, weren't glowing for you, actually, honey. Where are the comments? I had a good laugh at those. Um, Gamergate? Are you kidding me? Who wrote that script? Are you reading Zoe Quinn? I know, right? Who wrote your script? It's awful. You should rewrite and reshoot. No, don't rewrite, don't reshoot. Go away. That's my thought. Twitch used to be a gaming streaming platform. The good old days. That was a long, long ago. She's hot, but she's wrong. Cutie Cinderella was right. That's the beauty of attractive chicks. You could be six cans short of a six pack. And if you're cute, people just go, she's cute, but whoever has written the script for you has done a really bad job. You should fire them. There you go. Um, let's just get to the Gamergate part. We're skipping. I don't care to, to hear the rest. It's another video in and of itself. That day will come some other time. What? Simply follow them. I agree with the upsetting amount of misogyny and sexism that we experience as female streamers on Twitch. Wait, what? Okay. Shit. Why did I press play? Why did I do this? gaming. I think we can all agree that this issue is pervasive and real in our community. No need to look any further than Gamergate. However, in this instance, the blame is misplaced on female streamers who are just capitalizing on their appearance, rather than the red pill perpetrators and the misogynistic narratives that were already firmly in place. Oh my god. <laughs> the red pill perpetrators? Yeah, this does sound like something written by Zoe Quinn. Okay, so you sexualize yourself on Twitch, and then people treat you like a woman sexualizing herself, and then you upset. Do you not see the stupidity in that? <laughs> like, holy shit. What? I'm gonna fight misogyny by getting in a bikini and rolling around in a hot tub. I'm just taking advantage of my looks. Then what else do you have to offer? Nothing. You literally are coasting on your looks, and it, but the way you read this goddamn script it's obvious why you're doing it. 
You literally can't do anything else. And that includes reading convincingly. Holy fuck. <laughs> there are a bunch of misogynists. You didn't even, she didn't even care to reread one section. She literally fucked up and just edited around it. Like, wow. Just. It's those damn misogynists making you do this to yourself. And I agree that weak-willed men are an issue here. But good lord, you can't bring crack rocks to a crack house and not expect crackheads to want to smoke it. Jesus, this is literally what it is. You are a titty dealer. And then you get upset when the titty fiends show up. <laughs> show me your butt. <laughs> Do you have an OnlyFans? And odds are probably does because most of these Twitch girls do. So if you watch this video, I believe Ariel then says she was the creator of the hot tub stream meta. So as many of you may know, I started this new meta on Twitch. Basically, I got a blow up hot tub and decided to start streaming from it. Views went through the roof. And All right. Now here's where it gets interesting. Have you ever heard of Indy Fox? You should because I've laughed at her streams before. She's the girl who writes people's names on her body. You might have seen this before on adult camming sites. How would I know? Take a wild guess. All right, I was giving my dick the vinegar stroke. Next question, you're on. <laughs> Andy Fox rolls in and goes, Seeing another streamer copy my stream verbatim to my changing of outfits to my overlays and my stream titles. Everything, even outfit styles, is disturbing. It makes me sick to my stomach. Someone is stealing my creativity cause they're a bot with no ideas of their own. <coughs> Amaranth. They pretended to be my friend only to be a snake. The lies and the greed is unreal. This bitch is a multimillionaire. <coughs> Amaranth. <laughs> and can't even stand if anyone does a little better streaming. They have to copy my whole stream. I can't imagine being so gross and actually shameless scum. Like, get your own vibe. You have 2 million followers. Make your own content, disgusting thief. Apparently, she even stole from Pink Sparkles, too. Yes, because Twitch thoughtery is based on thievery. Twitch thoughts came to the fucking cam girls on Chatterbait like white settlers and stole everything. And now they're capitalizing. <laughs> Twitch thoughts are the white settlers of e-girls. <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, but... The, I'm sorry, but... Hold on, give me... Stu. We're fucked. I'm sorry, but they stole from the wrong fox. But anyhow, I'm done. This lying bitch... I don't care. I don't have the followers and I'm an underdog. I'm just a better person. Having someone snake me like that is just enough. I don't know how Andy Fox is an underdog. Her streams get like 12K viewers now. Like I'm literally no one and she's a millionaire and needs to steal from me. Are you fucking kidding me? Boys, we move to the day time slot and we're gonna fuck her numbers up. Give me time. I'm only two months into the e-girl thing, but I'm done. Yeah, two months since she already became one of the top streamers. What an underdog story, am I right? Every underdog story starts with someone showing up and then immediately doing well. Nothing I hate more than a liar. Selfish scumbag. This woman is ruthless and gross. No wonder every e-girl hates her and likes me. No one has ever done me justice. Beginning with God. Peace with God. The Twitch dot civil war had begun. What's so civil about war anyway? Now Andy Fox lays the gauntlet down, and that's when all Twitch dot hell kind of broke loose. Malene says, "Wait a minute, did she copy all of my ideas?" See, the thing with the hot tub stream is you don't know who started it. You don't know which girl started it. They're all saying they came up with it. Kelly Jean pops up. Kelly Jean hates my guts. I don't really know her that well. Haven't cared to pay her enough attention either. But whatever. You know, if people are blocking you, you don't really care about them. That's when you know you hot, baby. Eh, they both suck. Andy Fox made BS allegations about Recful's days before he died. And soft blocked me and Jenna when called out. Whoa, 
Wait a minute, girl, spill the tea. Drag her, slay her, sipping on that true tea, hunty. Uh. Gag. <laughs> oh, shit. Generally unpleasant person. Amrap used to bot my Twitter and like random tweets my fans made at me to gain followers despite never following me. Ooh, <laughs> juicy. Yes, Amaranth is a rotted skunk queen over there twisted in the corner. Ugh. <laughs> when I have to explain what Twitch is to people in real life, they tend to kind of be like, wait, what? Like, that sounds really weird. And when people go on Twitch to see what it is after I tell them about it, and on the top of the fucking IRL section, you see fucking Amaranth? That's hella embarrassing. That is extremely embarrassing and kind of feels fucking degrading. And I literally just wrote in her chat, it's fucking streamers like you that make me feel embarrassed to say that I stream on this site. And she goes, ha ha ha. She, she says this after reading my comment. She goes, sneaky bitch. She, she like laughs and she goes, sneaky bitch, trying to steal my viewers. And then she laughs and then she bans me. Brian Reckful, 31, dies days after sexual allegations made at him by Indy Fox. Um, let's see. World of Warcraft streamer was found dead only days after he was accused of sexual misconduct by Twitch streamer Indy Fox. Small streamer Indy Fox leveled sexual assault allegations against one of Reckful, one of the world's largest Twitch streamers, a little over a week before he took his own life. These allegations would have resulted in an immediate termination of his partnership deal with Twitch, regardless of truth. Are you a rewards member? Uh, no. Can I keep coming? I know. Okay. Now, the 1461. Need a bag for your Sharpies? Oh, no, thank you. Okay. <coughs> yikes! That's gonna be a fucking yikes for me. Holy shit. Uh, here's a clip uh, snuck to me from Andy Fox's Discord. Sorry, the, the footage looks like shit. Okay, new rule. If you're part of this community for longer than three months and don't sub, I may ban you for no apparent reason. Especially if I find you're subbing to channels that clearly aren't hurting for money. Just shows you're not loyal and are a cuck. We don't need people like that here. Get the fuck out. You know who you are. Hashtag uh, something I can't see. Okay, so if Indy Fox finds out you're in her Discord and you're not subbed to her in three months, you're done. If you're in her Discord and you sum to Amaranth, you're done. I like this. This is interesting news. This is delicious. <laughs> Twitch thoughts finally doing something interesting. God bless you. Uh, I cut this a little low. No offense, but putting mental stress and fake sexual allegations into someone who's already suffering from BPD, depression versus spamming, liking tweets, being annoying is not comparable. On any level whatsoever, in any world, it's crazy to even bring up the reason she sucks. Laugh my ass off. So that's an that's an Amaranth fan coming in to defend Amaranth. Like I said, they both suck, but not equal amounts. I said any Fox was worse. Reckful was literally my friend. You nublet. <laughs> Do you really believe I think otherwise? Basically, these two go at each other's throats. Amaranth rolls in and goes, "It's funny because." Her advice was that I copy another streamer's program to be less sexy. But the kernel of advice is to model off someone else's stream. Laughing emojis. This is just weird. Like, who can anyone <laughs> ever go tell you what to do? Specifically when you've been on the platform the longest and tell you the most nasty, obnoxious way possible. Indy copied Caitlyn on Twitch. Indy saw Caitlyn getting views during pool streams in Dubai. In bed streams. And copied her this year. Okay, what? So now we're saying Amaranth came up with this? I find that hard to believe, honest to God. Remember when Amaranth was just a cosplay streamer? Remember that? When cosplay girls are big? 
You don't ever see her fucking around cosplay no more. It's literally pool Amaranth now. So I don't want this probably an Amaranth fan. I used to be in her stream slash discord a long time ago, but she used to literally cry tears about you stealing her views and money. That's like DSP level shit. Happy birthday to my number one fucking thief who deserves jail time for the amount of fucking stuff that he steals illegally, except that YouTube won't do anything about it and he knows that I can't afford to stop him. Amaranth is Indy Fox's Tevin. <laughs> Report girl streams for being sexual. Call your cam girl say she had actual talent. Now she's in a hot tub showing ass. Okay, nice. Indy Fox was covert offsing revo reporting other girls. Delicious. Yum. Scrumptious. Finally, something funny. Oh, it's Ariel X. Laughing my ass off. I'm shook right now. She literally copied the hot tub thing from me. Oh, so Ariel X came up with it. Sorry, kids. It wasn't Amaranth. <laughs> to have the exact same setup and admitting it on streams. Now she's saying it was her idea. At first, I didn't care because everyone is doing it. But don't say someone stole your idea. <gasps> Skull and crossbones, queen. Oh, my God. So, yeah, you know. This video is way long and it's probably going to have tons of these hot tub streams. Is there anything else? Okay. This, this is just the bonding photos of Amaranth uh, following Kelly Jean. See, Kelly Jean, I believe, was a cosplay girl. And Amaranth was doing cosplay at that time. Just like Amaranth is not really showing cosplay stuff and she's doing hot tub streams. By the way, don't bother annoying me with this. I have informants about Amaranth. <laughs> I know what she's up to. I just kind of don't care anymore. It's like... It's like people want me to get stage five cancer. They're like, Gundam, go to fucking Chernobyl, pick up rocks and roll in the sand and see how you feel. Okay, let's read it. Uh, Kelly Jean, I swear this cosplayer Amaranth has a random like botter on Twitter. She constantly likes random tweets at me or other people, even though she doesn't follow me. And she does it to other people too. All her likes and momentum are targeting my followers. So weird. Yeah, Amaranth is like Dr. Doom when it comes to this sort of shit. Like, she is literally always up on the hottest trends when it comes to thottery and jumping on them quick. Jamaican Bacon says, yeah, she just liked a load of my tweets, but most of them were replies that have nothing to do with anything. And she liked the tweet I was mentioning. It's literally weird, haha. <laughs> she likes my tweets and doesn't follow me as well, though I did meet her at TwitchCon. Ugh. If you're going to TwitchCon to meet Twitch Dots, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Honest to God. Like, really? Uh, I hate to be this guy, but go get your dick wet, please. Whoa, what? Okay, hold on, Kelly G. I met her when I was with Recful at Voy Boy Boy at Stan Lee Comic Con. She came over, plugged her stream on his Periscope, then left. Ha ha. Yeah, she is a, she's soulless with that shit. Oh, wait, this is uh, something Amaranth sent about Andy Fox, right? In a DM. Uh, love to be friends, at least. Hope you have a good day, hearts. This is 2017. Hey, I was looking at your metrics, and I know you're really smart, but there is a couple things I notice you do on stream that I think could be improved. For example, your views are high, but considering that your followers are low, and I think it's because your streams are too blatantly sexy. Nothing wrong with that, but check. Okay, it's the usual. Ch this is what chicks do, all right? This is typical chick shit. Sit there, pretend to be friends with one another. Ah, it's a sisterhood. Meanwhile, hating the shit out of each other. Straight up hating each other, stealing shit from each other. That looks cute on her. I'm gonna buy it because it would look better on me. Except it's on a bigger, it's on a bigger scale. It's literally mean girls, but they're all in bikinis doing hot tub streams and rolling around on top of inflatable animals that look like dicks while saying thank you for the 200 biddies, Corey. That's where we're at right now. But don't worry, I'm the bad guy, baby. I'm oh my God, bad. look at those. Ah, oh, it's like I could taste them. Uh, I'm interacting with stream. Jesus Christ, look at those boobs. I wish she'd give me assisted suicide and just, you know, suffocate me with them. You know, she'd just come in and then she'd put them on my face and she'd go, Billy, um, masturbation's a crime and you're on death row. And then she'd take her breaths and put them all on my nose like this. You see, like right here. And I go, oh, oh, mm, 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 oh. Oh, mm, mm. oh my god, your breasts are so beautiful. Mm, mm. 
I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I'd like to apologize <laughs> to the YouTube community guidelines for expressing myself. Oh my god. So that's that. Who made the hot tub stream? Who the fuck knows? Also, who the fuck cares? I can't wait for it to just blow up.